I've been asked to come before you to, uh, to recount some of my experiences. I hope... I, I, I hope you enjoy them, I'm sure. That's me with the paper. Call me Joe and leave it at that. I'm quite an ordinary looking bloke. At least as ordinary as a lot of people I know. The uh, particular occasion you see me here, I was just having a pint of wallet before starting my new job. What's your joke? Hey, uh, Charlie. No man could do with some coupons. Sorry, back it up. Circumstances beyond our control. Going on the dole, then? Starting a business of my own. Oh, very nice. You dealing in novelties now? Just happened to come my way. Let's have a look at the latest. Sonny boy not running, eh? Too bad for somebody. Aye, aye. 200 cases of ice breaking last month, says Chief Bogey. Looks like people are getting careless. Oh, dear me, time I was going. Coming to the track? I've got my business to attend to. See you in the morn's morn. Aye, aye. Pardon me. Oh, don't start playing with that now, dear. We're going to be late. All right, I'm ready. Bring ten shillings from the mantelpiece. I've got to pay for your shoes. I don't know how you wear them out so quick. The man says you must walk very peculiar. More likely his leather is very peculiar. Are you ready now? Just a minute. Have you got your bag? You didn't leave it in the bus, did you? Oh, I hope not. It's got all my keys in it. <laughs> oh. You'll leave your head behind one of these days. Come on now, I've got your specs in my pocket. Just a minute, I haven't locked the back door. Don't be a fast spot. There's nothing worth pinching here. You'll miss your murder picture if we don't hurry. I must remember to buy the kippers. have given us sixpence, dear. Tuppence would have been quite enough. If you ask me, they're not kippers at all. They're painted sardines. Oh, you old grumbler, you ought to be thankful to get anything. Just put a light to the sitting room fire, will you, dear? I must get my shoes off. My bunions are hurting simply terribly. Jack! Jack, whatever's been happening upstairs, I never saw such a mess in all my life. Looks like we've had a visitor. You'd better go back and have a look at your jewelry box, dear. Jack, it's gone. Everything. All my rings, Uncle Percy's locket, the brooch you gave me. You're wearing the brooch, dear. But it looks as though he's got just about everything else.
Hello, gorgeous. Where's the governor? Inside. Here's the list. Anything else? Nice bit of white stuff. Two quid. Hey? Rose, give the gentleman two quid. Downright robbery, that was. Very discouraging, too. Still, I didn't give up. You see, I soon found my customers to be what you might call cooperative. Let you know when they're off on their holidays or away for the weekend. Leave a window open for you sometimes. Very obliging. Of course, some are careful and put a catch on. Others are really artful and hide the keys in the most unlikely places. I've come across one place, though, when they weren't so obliging. <laughs> Screw on the window, flipping mortis lock. No key under the mat. No key in the letterbox either. Still, with ordinary people, I was doing quite a brisk bit of business. As they say, small profits, quick returns. And one day I had what you might term a misfortune. Christmas time. Night at last, just round the corner from my first job. No provoking obstacles either. Afternoon, Brenda. He didn't look the type. I'd look an awful fool, you know. Well, not a yeah. fool, you're a blithering idiot. Didn't you tell the police? Well, it, it is, it is. Don't it is stand only... there gibbering, man. But uh, I, I... Go and find a policeman. A blithering idiot.
Charlie. Hello, Joe. Enjoy your holiday. Yeah. You been to the garden party? Yes. Very funny, I'm sure. <laughs> You'll have to get yourself another smasher, Joe. The governor was pinched while he was away. He was a bad lot, anyway. Never gave a fair price in his life. The only time I was off. Which way are you going? <laughs> a lot of people would like to know that. Yes. I reckon there's quite a lot of people who'd be very interested. <laughs> People have gone on their holidays, for instance, and have forgotten to stop the milk or the papers. We've gone to the pictures, and left the key in the letterbox or under the mat. Or windows with catches that come open nice and easy with a penknife. Yes, I reckon there's lots of people who'd like to know where I'm off to today. <laughs> <laughs> 